Good day, I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be the best long-term investments to make in the market right now. Of course, prices are severely down. There's a lot of cards that have really gone down in price um, that I just believe if you're looking from a long-term perspective, um, I believe now is going to be an opportunity where we look back and we're like, wow, I wish I had bought more at that time. Um, and so that's what I'm certainly doing. I'm buying personally a lot of sports cards, a lot of crypto. Crypto, um, a lot of other just suffering assets right now um, that I believe will bounce back um, and you know whether it's the coming months if I have a long-term perspective on it I know that buying the dip is always a very good opportunity um, so I'm personally not very panicked I know I've done the same during you know March of 2020 when everything was crumbling down um, I was that guy out there who was like this is a great opportunity and it paid off for me then. Um, I've pretty much bought the dip ever since, every time, um, in terms of crypto, sports cards, and everything else. And I think it's worked out pretty good for me. Um, but before we get into that, I did want to say a little bit about our membership program because we've been able to stay ahead of the curve. Um, now, on August of last year, we are buying up. Formula One, Topps Chrome, and Sapphire Hobby Boxes, Standard Chrome Boxes for $700 to $750, Sapphire Boxes for $900 to $950. Um, now, the Sapphire Boxes that we are, our members were buying up for $900 are currently up to $3,500, and our normal Topps Chrome Boxes, um, which our members were buying up for $700 to $750, are currently up to $2,800. Um, so, if you would like to join in and get our picks and make some money and stay ahead of the market, the link will be down below to sportscardsinvest.com. Without further ado, I'm going to hop right into this video. Um, so where I personally believe now to be the greatest opportunity is with, um, you know, second tier cards that are really suffering right now. Um, and one player that comes to mind for me, you know, when pertaining to second tier players who are really suffering is Dwayne Wade. Um, and, you know, Dwayne Wade's Topps Chrome will always be a very relevant card because it's connected so heavily to LeBron's Topps Chrome. Um, you know, Topps Chrome in 2003 is one of the most important sets in the sports card market. Um, and Wade's card is the second most important rookie card of the set. Um, you know, this Topps Chrome refractor is all the way down to $2,500. Um, I remember when this was a $20,000 plus dollar card um now of course i think these cards are going to be the cards that are going to suffer the most when um you know this whole kind of I, I wouldn't even call it like a recession but more so just like um you know a time where people aren't buying as much um and i think it's leaving this a great opportunity with a pop of 133 i think in the long term I personally believe this is a $10,000 plus dollar card in the long term, especially with Fanatics um, hopefully bringing in a lot more buyers into the buyer pool. Um, so I think that's a great opportunity for Dwayne Wade. Um, you know, there's so many other guys that come to mind. Um, one guy who I really like, given um, I believe sports cards are going to be really global. Um, you know, in the coming years, I think sports cards are really going to become global and grow in Europe and all types of different different countries um you know i think dirk Nowitzki being the best european basketball player of all time at the moment in my opinion um i think it leaves a great opportunity for a lot of his cards um so i think you know his population is super low um his refractor has a pop of just 12 um so i think this is a great opportunity to get in um and you know buy some great dirk Nowitzki cards his tops chrome base is down 40 percent in the last 90 days um which is just you know Know, incredibly low um, sitting at 700 bucks with a pop of 167 of course he's a legend in Dallas I think this is a great opportunity right now um, and then of course I believe all like the Jordans Kobe LeBron's these are probably like the easiest way um, you know to invest I think the upside is not quite as large as guys like Dwayne Wade, but the risk is a lot lower. I mean, this card is going to be in demand forever. Um, you know, I think if you can buy in now, it just leaves you with so much upside still. Um, so I think it's definitely a great time. I personally believe that the buyer pool in terms of sports card market is going to continue to increase, um, you know, over time. We still see, if you look at Google search optimization, which is pretty much, um, you know, a great way to kind of look at interest in sports cards, you know, Google searches for sports cards are still staying very high. Um, you know, I think the demand is there. It's just, um, you know, 
it's kind of a time where buyers are a little bit skeptical of spending big money. Um, so that's where I wanted to talk about a little bit about the ultra high end market um, because a lot of people are not willing to spend even $50,000 on a card right now. Um, and so if you're able to kind of make that bigger bet, if you have a little bit more money to drop, you can get some very good deals around the $50,000 mark. I've noticed that on Golden. I've been buying a lot of higher end cards recently. Um, you know, Kobe LeBron dual autos, Kobe Jordan dual autos. Um, you know, these cards are ending super low and that is simply because people are not willing to shave out fifty, sixty thousand dollars like they were in 2021. Um, you know, people are really kind of saving on their money right now. And that is why a lot of incredible Kobe cards are ending so low recently. Um, so I think this is just leaving an incredible opportunity when everyone is skeptical, be greedy is kind of like my saying, of course, of course, it's not my saying, but it's something that I live by. Um, I definitely think it's a good time to be buying into these dual autographs, super rare stuff that are coming on the market and just ending super low. Um, so these are some cards that I'm looking at, you know, to buy right now. Um, that is me personally. I understand every time I make a video like this, all my comment sections are flooded. Like I don't have that type of money to spend, but I certainly believe that there's so much great opportunity, even in you know the lower market now. If you're have even a hundred bucks to spend, um, you know, just buying up things like this that are just sitting way too low. I mean, Dwayne Wade's tops base, tops chrome base PSA. Is down 56% in the last 90 days. I think this is a bound to bounce back. I do not see this being a $65 card in the future, um, you know, for much longer. So I think all that type of stuff is a great opportunity. Um, another kind of card that I want to talk about a little bit, um, just regarding the Kobe Bryant documentary that will hopefully be coming out sometime this year or next year. Um, Pau Gasol, I think, is due for a big boost. Um, his Pop 43 Topps Chrome Refractor and a PSA 10 is just $552. I think that is an incredible opportunity. Um, and then another very safe investment is wax, of course. Um, so just buying up wax is probably a very smart thing to do right now, given that the demand is still there for breakers. Um, and demand is actually holding up quite well for boxes. Um, so we're seeing a lot of boxes still going up in price. Um, so I think that's definitely a great opportunity to buy in to some boxes and hold that for the long term, especially for very important sets. Um, such as Luka Doncic's rookie year, I think is a great opportunity. Um, you know, I definitely think stuff like this is going to go up a lot in the long term. Um, so it's definitely, if you have a long-term approach right now, um, I think you can find some very good deals, hold on to it for the long term, and I really, truly believe with my heart that it's going to pay off greatly. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Um, I've been buying a lot of big boxes recently. Um, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely have seen that so um, you know I definitely think it's a good time to be buying in if you have the money um, be aggressive now would be my kind of you know encouragement or my opinion um, you know I of course I'm not trying to say go out and spend every dollar you have and you know of course life comes first but I think if you have that extra money to invest and you can really make a speculative bet right now when everybody's trying to sell off if you're buying in I think it's really going to pay off in the long term um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you would like to join on the program the link is down below other than that I hope you all enjoyed and I'm out peace